Hi guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Benny. So as you can see, today more in a kind of relaxed atmosphere. I didn't really prepare anything for that video or wrap my head around what to do or what to say. But yesterday evening, the idea came to my mind that, you know, I have so many samples lying around. I have like literally three full bags of samples, fragrance samples, somewhere in the corner. And um, most of them I even, haven't even touched yet. So I thought about, let's grab some of them and give you guys a first impression on what they smell and uh, what I think they smell like and what I think of them in general. So uh, let's, let's test some of them. So the first fragrance is called Oud Aquilaria by Oman Luxury. And I own, I own one fragrance by them, which is called Belfior, which is a really nice, fruity, fresh, floral fragrance. Very nice scent. So I'm a kind of I'm expecting a oud fragrance, of course, and perhaps a, like oud with a aquatic note because of Aquilaria. We'll see about that one. So first impression. Oh yeah. Okay. So definitely fresh, citrusy, earthy. I get some earthy vibes in here, probably from the oud. So it starts off really fresh, some probably bergamot or some kind of citrusy fresh note, and now some some heavy uh, like heavy heavy woods, heavy woods in the background. Goes kind of like in the direction of oud Isfahan by Dior, like this this fresh oud kind of smell. Probably also has some flowery nuances, flowery accords in it or notes in it. Nice one, great for, for like summer evenings I'd say, also like classy or upscale events. Nice one. Oud Aquilaria by Oman Luxury. So, next up is Wackelwasser. That's probably a German brand. Grüße an alle meine deutschen Zuschauer. Um, is it called Wackelwasser? I don't know if the brand is called Wackelwasser or the fragrance. So the description is to, to radiate darkness. Top cardamom, ginger, bergamot, lemon, heart, jasmine and black orchid and base, malt, caramel, cedarwood and dark musk. So this could be very interesting. So fresh, a little sweet, a little flowery and also like this, this malt note or this alcoholic boozy note in it that I can smell. Yeah, it's okay. I probably wouldn't get myself a full bottle of it, but I can see why people I can see people liking this one. So next up is a Montal fragrance. This one is called Amber Musk. So I'm expecting of course some kind of ambery musky fragrance. Definitely musky. Once again, a, f a fresh, fresh, musky smell. Citruses. I don't get much of the amber, at least not in the opening. So let's let's check the notes. So on top, oh yeah, definitely ambergris. There's an, an ambergris note in here. Definitely, I can smell this one. So white musk, ambergris, powdery notes, amber and cedar. So quite of a, a, a simple note breakdown. But yeah, I can now I can definitely detect the ambergris note. Very like literally like white smelling with this white musk note. Also, I'd say not really a strong fragrance, if you ask me. Yeah, so very very musky smelling, very also citrusy and this, this amber green ambergris note is definitely prominent, at least in the opening. I don't get much of the amber note, at least not here, probably in the dry down a little more. Yeah, it's okay. So this was Amber Musk by Montal. Next up is Van Cleef and Arpels Boys Dory. I'm I'm sorry I can't pronounce the name. 
Let's check this one. Oh yeah, this one is my favorite so far. Sweet, sweet powdery fragrance. Some kind of a vanilla note I think in it. So sweet, powdery, vanilla-like. Perhaps also some iris note in it, I don't know. Okay, so it definitely has a vanilla note in it. It has almond, tobacco, cedar, tonka bean, teak wood, musk, mineral notes and black pepper. Yeah, now, now that I read the note breakdown I can also detect a tonka bean note in it. But this, the, this vanilla, kind of vanilla sweetness mixed with some musky nuances, powderiness. Yeah, I think this is a female fragrance. No, women and men. Oriental fragrance for women, women and men. Nice one, very nice one. I'd say rather feminine probably, rather feminine. But this is my favorite so far. So, uh, Van Cleef and Arpels, Boys Dory. From the collection Extraordinary. Nice one, definitely test this one. And the last one guys, once again a Montal fragrance. Vanilla Absolute. So I'm expecting a vanilla fragrance. <laughs> oh yeah. But it reminds me of something. This is very nice. Very nice fragrance. Oh yeah. Especially for Gourmand, Gourmand lovers. Oh, what does this remind me on? I can't remember. But it, this is very nice. Very nice fragrance. So very sweet, it has a candy-like gourmand sweetness on top. So this one is marketed towards women, not a unisex fragrance. And also once again a very simple note breakdown. You get vanilla, you get cinnamon, you get woodsy notes and cloves. So definitely vanilla, definitely. I don't get much of the cinnamon, I don't also get much of the woods in here. I would I would wear this one definitely yeah so this one is very nice very nice fragrance so let's check all of them again the first one was called Aqu uh, Ud Aquilaria by Oman Luxury yeah so it has this fresh earthy touch to it very fresh very earthy in the background so the earth, this 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 uh, earth accord probably comes from the oud. Definitely a masculine smell. Like I said, goes into the direction of um, oud Isfahan a little bit by Dior. Nice one. Okay, the second one was the German one, Wackelwasser. Yeah, so it still still has the citrusy accord on top lemon ginger it's a little sweeter now than in the opening this one is I, I prefer the dry down of this one than the opening the, the opening was a little the dry down is, 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 is better yeah this one is very nice very nice fragrance yeah so Wackelwasser the third one was another Montal Amber Musk by Montal. Yeah, so this amp, this 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 musky musky overall feel of it. White musk, I think, was in the note breakdown. Nice one. Also a nice one, but I wouldn't I wouldn't buy myself a bottle of this one. It's just not you know two two musky fragrances are not really my style. Montal Amber Musk. So now the next one was the Van Cleve in our pals. Boys Doré or Doré, I'm sorry. Yeah, this one is still still uh, still a nice one. So very very vanilla like. This one is nice. Yeah, so Van Cleve in our pals Boys Doré from the collection Extraordinaire. This one is nice. And probably my favorite is the second Montal Vanille or Vanille Absolute? Yeah, so very sweet, vanilla like, 
gourmandish. It has this like candy sweetness a little bit, but in a good way, not like your ultra mild candy sweetness. Yeah, vanilla absolute by Montal is my favorite from the five. So that's it, guys. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this little fun video here. It's a little bit more relaxed. Let me know once again what you what kind of videos you want to see from me, uh, what kind of topics you want me to go over, which fragrances you want me to review. Please also let me know if like this could become a series or if you if you like that or if you don't like it let me know that so um, thank you for watching guys and we will see us next time with another video bye bye